In Enterprise Mode, the Bridge AP configuration is done through the web interface of the AP. The first step is to enable the AP Web UI from the OmniVista server. Go to Network, AP Group, select the AP Group assigned to the AP, and edit it. In the AP Web section, enable the AP Web parameter, set the administrator account of the AP, and commit the changes. Connect to the web interface of the AP212 highlighted here as the root AP. The second AP will be configured then as the non-root AP. On the AP configuration page, select the Network tab and click the AP interface window. In addition to Ethernet 0 interface, you will find two new interfaces, Backhaul 1, the uplink interface of the mesh or bridge link, and Connector 1, the downlink interface of the mesh or bridge link. Click the Edit button of either of the interfaces and it will lead you to the same configuration page. Enable the interface, it's down by default, and make sure that the bridge mode is selected. Fill in the SSID name. This SSID will only be used for the mesh connection and should not be used as a service WLAN to connect clients. It's recommended to use the 5 GHz radio for this mesh link. Set the AP as root. Finally, set the passphrase that will be used for the security of the mesh link. Then, go to the AP that will be configured as the non-root and configure the AP interface. The SSID name and passphrase must be the same as previously configured. The only difference in the configuration is the root parameter is set to no. Both APs will restart to apply the configuration changes. This will take a minute. Go to the root AP and check that the backhaul 1 interface is up. Also check the speed of the link. It will indicate the connection to the non-root AP. On the non-root AP, check that both interface connector 1 and backhaul 1 are up and the link speed is set on both interfaces. Backhaul 1 interface is connected directly to the root AP and connector 1 interface speed needs to be higher than zero for the mesh network to be established. 